Sure, he is a Marvel guy, but we still wanted to see Dave Bautista as Bane. Unfortunately, according to his interview with Insider, those plans are not happening. Here's why. It's his age. Bautista thinks plans need to be set out for the next 15 years or so, and he thinks no one can make those long-term plans with the former wrestler. The MCU star thinks he can't choose a major role like Bane and give it the effort that it deserves. Batista also didn't seem too confident that he could handle the physical stunts and the energy required to carry them out at his age. And this is why the American actor thinks of backing out from a character he can't bring justice to anymore. He was invested in playing Bane though. He went to Warner Bros to let him play the DCU's iconic villain. Quite a bummer that Batista changed his mind about this. Tom Hardy, for instance, was in his mid-30s when he played the iconic villain in The Dark Knight Rises. And if you take a look back, even Jeep Swenson was 40 in Batman and Robin, given the fact that DC villains rarely return for another movie. So I, for one, think Batista can pull the role of Bane in his mid-50s. Have you seen that dude? He doesn't even look like he's aging. But sadly, the decision came down to the director turned CEO James Gunn and his co-CEO Peter Safran. And Batista doesn't want to be the guy who'd reach out to an old friend for his self-interest. For the Glass Onion star, his career is going well, and if his friend Gunn would be interested in having him over at his new job, then Batista wouldn't say no to that. We all know he'd love to be part of the DC Universe, work alongside Gunn again, and relive the old days. But the ball's in the court of James Gunn, and no one knows what he has in store for DC. Everyone's pretty much oblivious about the future of DCU. They won't even give a sneak peek of their plans. That's unfair. But some deets have been given by Gunn's pal, Batista. David thinks James is going for a reboot. The MCU star has had conversations with his Guardians of the Galaxy director about the role of Bane. The director turned co-CEO is taking a different approach when it comes to the DC universe and wants to start from scratch. And that means say bye-bye to old DC actors and hello to the young and fresh ones fit for the roles of the DC comics. So we all can expect the iconic Batman villain to be played by a young fella. But who can it be? Till now, we can only theorize and root for our favorite actors landing the major roles of the DC comics. But back to Batista. If not DC, he still has Marvel. So what lies in the future for Batista in the MCU? We all know the time's near when the MCU star will bid farewell to his iconic role from Guardians of the Galaxy. Rumors have been speculating that at least one of the movie's leading stars will face their demise in the third installment. Of course, fans are theorizing who it'll be, and many think it'll be Batista's Drax. The American actor, most famously known for his role as Drax the Destroyer in the MCU, will enjoy his final run with the galaxy's greatest warriors and will also see more changes. How long have you been standing there? An hour. An hour? Are you serious? I've mastered the ability of standing so incredibly still that I've become invisible to the eye. Watch. James Gunn, for once, won't be fulfilling his directorial duties for the Marvel movies after helming three Guardian movies and the holiday special. The MCU star has reportedly confirmed that he won't be a part of the MCU as he grows older and wants to pursue more serious work. 2023, in fact, will prove to be a game-changing year for the 54-year-old. Batista will have his biggest speaking role to date in M. Night Shyamalan's Knock at the Cabin, as well as an influence influential role in Denis Villeneuve's Dune sequel. But this year, the MCU star will leave behind his role as Drax after appearing in seven different MCU projects that spanned nearly a decade. Dude. What is wrong with you? If he's a planet, how could he make a baby with your mother? He would smush her. I, uh, I don't need to hear how my parents... Why? My father would tell the story of impregnating my mother every winter solstice. That's disgusting. It was beautiful. 
I mean, he'd be pretty bummed, right? Quite the opposite. Batista would be relieved. It doesn't mean that the former wrestler hated his time with the MCU or his character. In fact, he's grateful for getting the role in the most famous universe. But it wasn't all pleasant for the MCU star. The 54-year-old actor recently told GQ that it was stressful playing the role of Drax, especially the makeup process was beating the former wrestler down. But the major reason behind his relief to leave behind Drax's role is that he was bound to portray a silly performance. And one more thing, Batista doesn't want Drax to be his legacy. He simply wants to appear in more dramatic and mature stuff. Good for him. Batista also thinks his future projects are a step in the right direction. I mean, he gets to speak more for once. If I were in his place, I'd be pretty stoked too. Batista's role as Drax in the MCU has less speaking time, and I have to admit, it also had a pretty weak arc. Even the actor has expressed his frustration over the MCU's role many times. A few years ago, the Army of the Dead star claimed that Marvel did Drax dirty. Batista thinks they should have invested more time in Drax and thinks the character has a really interesting backstory. Marvel comic fans know that Drax has more of a story to tell its viewers, and Marvel did miss the ball on Drax. Marvel should have explored the role of Drax more. It would have also allowed Batista as an actor to experiment and show different sides of his character, the good, the bad, and the ugly. If only Marvel had given attention to this underrated character of the Guardians Punch. I second you, Batista. Drax isn't just a stupid, silly character. He also has more complexities. The fans saw his horrifying past, and if Marvel couldn't have just put more emphasis on Drax's storyline, we all might have seen Drax in a new light. But Batista is leaving behind his past and is looking ahead. The 54-year-old wants to accomplish more than what MCU can offer. And he seems to be on a good start. Batista will mark his third role as a villain with Dune Part 2 after playing the bad boy in Dune and Blade Runner 2049. And with the newest changes in the DCU and Gunn's new position as co-CEO, the fans can expect some surprising stuff. Gunn has made it clear that he wants to pair the right actor with the right role. He also hasn't shied away from admitting that there will always be doors open for his Guardians cast in the DC Universe. So does that mean we might get to see MCU actors in the DCU as well? Well, it sounds kind of wrong to me. I don't know why. But who says actors can't just work in both rival universes? Gunn has highlighted some names in the Guardians cast that might work alongside his other job. One of them is Drax, the Destroyers actor, Dave Bautista. Other co-stars like Chris Pratt and Zoe Saldana can shock us with their appearances in Marvel's rival DC as well. But with the recent confirmation of Batista not embodying the role of Bane, can we expect him to be part of the newly formed DCU? Definitely! There are still loads of other options for the former wrestler to take on under Gunn's leadership. Who knows? Gunn might find a perfect role for his Marvel buddy. But I know one thing, Batista in the DCU would be a perfect fit. So that was all the tea on Dave Batista and his future in the MCU. 